Keep with the box. Who's in the box? Oh, what's in the box? Welcome to Total Toy Recon's Bob's Basement Toy Blog. It's our 18th episode. I thought today I would tackle this box that says 2018. This box here is all items I either got in 2018, released in 2018, were given in 2018. Um, when I was a, when I knew that I was going to be moving, um, I was living in a very small place. I just started boxing things up, packing them real nice, and getting them ready to move to this house. Um, as I am organizing my basement, I'm finding lots of lost treasures, lots of Star Wars figures, lots of loose things, finding bits and pieces of toys that belong together that have been separated by time and uh, plastic tubs. So, today we're going to look at a modern day box. Now, I'm getting ready for the Great Purge. When this is all over, I have set up... Um, uh, I've set up a meeting with Symbiote Collectibles, and he and I, uh, when the time is right, we're going to meet, and he's going to, uh, you know, we're going to work out a deal, he's going to do something, um, hopefully, uh, uh, if this all happens, you know, it, it, but we're going to work out a trade. It's, he's a great guy, he does a, has a really nice store in West Reading, and this store um, I've gotten some of my items from, I do nice trades with him, Max is the owner, he's a really nice guy. Um, but he has talked, uh, he, he and I have spoken, we were supposed to have one date before all this happened. Literally, I think it was the, the first Saturday that we were all kind of shut down. And uh, so, some of this stuff is probably going to go to Max's place. Um, especially the stuff that, uh, you know, I've decided that I'm going to concentrate on Star Wars and a couple other select items. You know, I'll keep my retro He-Mans, keep those kind of things. But a lot of it, like, why do I need this Transformer? I don't have a lot of Transformers. It didn't mean anything to me. I got it at a yard sale. Move it on. Excuse <coughs> me. <clears throat> Hello, Dave. Thank you for joining me on your lunch. Uh, love to Gene and love to Furby. So let's get to it. This is a 2018 box. Now, this is going to be tough because I'm going to have to try to open this box and move items to the side. I'd like to set it on its side. Um, somehow and get to the items and show them to you. So I'm trying to figure, I don't want to lean it and then feed it outwards. So it's been a little rough on me trying to figure this out because I don't have a lot of space as the more and more boxes I open. All right, here we go. We'll uh, fill the space right here, so to speak. All right. Uh, thank you for the blessing. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Diamond Select had sent us a large collection of busts uh, to review and uh, to give away um, on our uh, Total Toy Recon live shows that we used to do. We used to do like an hour long, talk about toys, do these kind of things. And we had a bigger uh, warehouse and we had a set in the warehouse that we could never take down. When we moved to our new location, we couldn't do that. So this was one of the items we reviewed. This is the uh, San Diego Comic Con 2017 exclusive resin bust of Terry McGinnis, Batman Beyond, with his mask off. So uh, we gave away a lot of stuff, but this was one of the items. Uh, we kind of each pick one thing that we want to keep and talk about. This is one of the items that I wanted. Absolutely love it. Uh, really good. Would I keep this? Yes. I would not get rid of this in The Purge. This is a nice library item you put on the shelf. Looks really cool. So that's a nice little item there. Um, okay, so when Toys R Us was going down, 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 uh, I started picking up the Star Wars Disney Infinity characters. They're these little statues that you stick on a dish and then you can play as that character. Well, you could get little booster coins, and you would put these coins on the on the the playset, and then it would give your it would open up new characters, new outfits, all these kind of things. Th these were originally ten ten dollars US. They were down to ninety nine cents. So since I had a bunch of them already, I picked up the 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 additional pack that came with the game. You got two figures picked up like three or four of these things for all like 10 bucks. So, you know, you run around. It gives me another game for my PlayStation, and I like Star Wars. So we had some fun at one point. I think we were sub my wife was Sabine Wren, and I was actually the Hulkbuster uh, Iron Man suit, and we were flying, or I was carrying her, and we were flying around and doing all the missions. So it was a nice way to spend the afternoon. Uh, this is the, uh, my wife got this for me, uh, the Easter of 2018. This is the Hannibal Lecter Silence of the Lambs pop. We're both big fans of Science of the Lambs, uh, so we thought, you know, she thought this would be funny. This was in my Easter basket, so that's a nice thing. It's amazing to me how many pops I actually have because I don't want to collect pops, but I always end up getting one that I don't, I, I just can't part with. So that's the great thing about pops and also the downside because you realize, like, oh my god, I have like 40 of these things. 
My son is almost six months old. He has three pops already. Philly Fanatic was given as a gift. Jim Henson, which I got him. And then um, the Ewok one, uh, Baby Ewok. That's frock. It's a Target exclusive. I got that when my, when my wife told me she was pregnant. I went out and got her uh, this pop, and it was his first pop. So, Oh, this is great. So uh, this is a Planet of the Apes Gorilla Soldier 2-pack. This was done by NECA. Uh, NECA was making Planet of the Apes figures like crazy. It was awesome if you're an Apes fan. And this set uh, is a Toys R Us exclusive. They're slightly different. Like, the faces are a little bit different. The coloring's a little bit off. But you get all these great weapons and everything. Um, I have a couple figures in the set. Not nearly as many as I would like. But uh, we were going to a couple different conventions. Total Toy Recon was. Uh, we were going to conventions. And NECA had uh, discount booths. So, like, every figure was, like, 10 bucks or 5 bucks. And uh, MJ... Uh, uh, the co-founder and uh, managing operator, uh, he actually picked this up for me as a thank you. So, love this box set. I would love to take these out, and I'm, and I'm really tempted to, um, because I'll never sell them, but I just I love the way they look. And that's the problem with some, some companies that give you such a great box, you don't want to take them out. Um, Alright. Lots of plastic bags in here. Which, I use the plastic bags for, like, filler. So, oh, this is, yeah, this is nice. So, again, another pop. Another pop. So, this one here is, um, this is nice because I was given this as a gift uh, from Jared Cruz, uh, who founded Action Figure Junkies, who then, uh, after he passed away, um, he we, you know, we, we changed it over to Total Toy Recon um, much later. Um, but... Anyway, uh, this was, uh, he sent me this as a thank you for all the work that I had done. Um, I believe the note is still in here. I slid it inside. But Bit Fortuna is one of my all-time favorite side Star Wars characters. He knew that, and then he sent me this. So this used to sit on my desk. Um, when I didn't work for Action Figure Donkeys, I worked for another company, and this was always sitting on my desk. Oh, again, this is like the pop episode. Um, this is the Spider-Man Far From Home. He's in his school jacket pop. So, with headphones, my wife gave me that. Really, really like that. Um, that's fun. Yeah, that was cool. She got. I think she got me that for the holidays. Oh, so here we go. This one's interesting. So, this, these two guys right here. So, during the fall of Toys R Us. Uh, so maybe this box is a little bit more, well, I guess it's 2018. Yeah, it's 2018. Uh, during the fall of Toys R Us. Um, the, the last days, uh, we kept hitting like every store and each store had something different that maybe the other store didn't have. And then we ended up getting, um, I think these were less than two bucks a piece. So this was the, uh, this is the Imperial ground crew guy. So if you have TIE fighters, you kind of want these guys running around two bucks. And then, uh, one of our writers at the time, Evan Liss got me this Leia cause it was the last Star Wars figure in the store. And he thought that was funny. So he got me that last Star Wars figure. So these... Definitely not going to get put back into a box. And actually, I'm probably going to open them um, because the Leia is awesome. That's Leia from Star Wars Rebels. And then you always need more flight crew guys. He doesn't even come with a gun. He comes with some crazy jetpack. Because that was in the movie. Uh, we're getting to a tough point now. I'm going to have to pull some boxes, bigger boxes out of here. So this is, this was the, I believe this was the Amazon exclusive droid pack. So if you had a 6-inch Black Series figures and you wanted to outfit them or world build with more droids, this is R2A3, R5K6, and R2F2. So uh, not one I think I'd open. Um, I have my Black Series figures. I have some that I have a weird mixture of some that are open, some that are not. I would probably leave these closed. The box is in fairly decent shape. It's a little dinged up, but... Um, these these eventually sell out and then they they really don't kind of reissue these which is surprising because you think they would so probably keep that in the box oh okay so this is the uh this is the legends guardians of the galaxy marvel legends guardians of the galaxy dark hawk um i think it's a really cool figure but uh i actually have met mike manley who is the creator of dark hawk um, and I really wanted to get him to autograph it. Uh, but I think by the time I saw him the second time, I had packed the figure away and I couldn't find it. So I didn't want to say, oh, dude, I got your figure and I want you to sign it. Uh, but I don't have it with me. 
So now I just have to remember where I keep it. So the next time I see Mike Manley, I can have him uh, sign this figure. So awesome figure. Um, but I really, really wanted the autograph of the uh, creator on there. So, <laughs> so, so this is the Venom pool. Uh, this is Deadpool and Venom together. And this is, this was interesting. We had a full case of these and we had ordered these on Total Toy Recon. Uh, we had ordered these because it was a hot figure and we got full case from Entertainment Earth. Well, by the time we actually got it, because we were low on the totem pole when getting our shipment, this figure was everywhere. I think up until like maybe sometime around Christmas, every once in a while, you'd see one still at Target. That's how, ran uh, how many people actually got this figure. I mean, it's Venom, it's Deadpool together, it makes sense. It's a cool figure, but... The figure for me now is more nostalgic because it was the figure at one point on our on our live show we do our like toy talks and stuff we actually had them all like we had like nine of them on the wall behind us so if you go back and look at some of our uh, our our shows when we're just talking about different things or we're reviewing something it's a whole bunch of these on the back so you gotta see those on YouTube oh God okay so uh, let's see who this is this is a Game of Thrones culture fly uh like loot crate uh box set so i got this at the height of game of thrones so we have some weird things in here this is a kitchen glove it says you can actually use it um this is a cup for drinking uh it actually has a holder it holds it somehow notepad uh uh, there's a, this was a, uh, a flower pot. I'm not sure what this is. We do not sew. House of Greyjoy. It's a, it's a big pin. And then we have, uh, oh, some other things in here. I forgot about these. So this is the, this is Ghost, a vinyl figure of Ghost. And then we have a full collection of stamps. Um, I think there was a t-shirt with this. So I still have the t-shirt somewhere. But other than that, it's pretty much the whole thing. Um, I wish Game of Thrones would have ended better than it did. That's as far as I'm going to go. So I'll probably get rid of all of this. Ah. So here is my USS Enterprise NCC-1701D. Now this came from Eagle Moss Hero Collector. Very cool company. Um, it's a nice, it has a stand, the whole bit of the Enterprise, and we did a huge Enterprise Day, uh, Star Trek Day, where we, Eagle Moss was so nice, they get, they sent us one to keep and one to give away, so we got a lot of Star Trek stuff that day, that was a fun day. Um, oh, so this is my, this, this, this package is terrible, this is my 375 Black Series Walmart exclusive Lando Calrissian, uh, General Lando Calrissian. And the cool thing about this was uh, we had a Walmart in in New Jersey and everything was like, all the Star Wars stuff was discounted. This is when we were looking for Jyn or so Black Series figures that were like three cents a piece. We actually got one that one day. Uh, got Lando for, I think, three dollars. Um, it's a decent figure with the cape, the cloth, the whole bit. Um, packaging is really bad, but it's probably the best Lando to date in this size um, in this outfit. So, that's a neat one. I'm going to hold on to that. Make sure he does not disappear. Oh, yeah. So, here is... Still in the original pack. Never been opened. This is the Jungle Hunter Unmasked Predator. From the 30th Anniversary Collection by NECA. This is an awesome figure. Never took it out, but the details are amazing. So, definitely want to keep that. That and my Planet of the Apes ones. Those are, those are awesome. I love those. Um, so, here is the Dewback. Now, we reviewed this on Total Toy Recon. It has its own on uh, Star Wars Day. Uh, I was given this, I reviewed it, and then I was given it to as uh, from MJ. He thought this was funny, how excited I was to get it. And it's, it's a fantastic set. I wish I would have gotten another one. Um, they were, like, dirt cheap, like $9.99, but I was like, look how much stuff I have. One's enough. Um, but this is a great uh, Black Series lizard. It's a Riding him, get a special stormtrooper and everything. It's one of the best stormtroopers too to date. He's really, really good. It's a new standard for stormtroopers. Um, okay, so here's a Star Wars book. This is 
new uh, Battlegrounds, the, gui the guide. So I think this covers a lot more of the later seasons of the Clone Wars. So you get into guys, like, you get into stuff on Mandalore, which is all being, like, about to drop right now on the Clone Wars series. Uh, yeah, here's, here's Duchess Satine. That's Obi-Wan's girlfriend. And then uh, here we get into the Mandalorians with Pre Vizsla and stuff. These are great books. Um, they're fun. They're also fun for the kids. Um, you know, it talks into all the different battles, all the different different secret groups on Coruscant. Yeah, you also get a, a really good look at the uh, animation this way and side characters that you probably n normally wouldn't get too much information about. Um, and clones and snipers and, you know, Rodians. It's nice. It's a good book. I don't know why it's in this box. It should be with other books. Ah, so here's another one of those uh, Diamond Select um, Diamond Select busts that we got. We got a couple waves of these they would give us to. Mr. Freeze was definitely coming home with me. He's my favorite Batman rogue. Because um, such a tragic character. But I love this character on the cartoon series. And he's really not in it as much as you would think. But he has such a lasting impression. So we do not have many bookshelves here in the house. And wish we did because a lot of this stuff would be out um all right so here we got a box and the box is not this was from superhero stuff this was another hero box we reviewed this but the items inside are not anything for it so let's get to the first one we have we have the old man logan wolverine from the Build-A-Figure from the X-Men wave. I don't... This one did not come with the Build-A-Figure piece. And this was from, what, 2016, 2017? 2018. Just like the box says. Awesome figure. Love the cartoon. I mean, the cartoon. Love the comic series. And more plastic bags. Because you know I like that. Oh, interesting. New Jersey Horror Con. Uh, not in the best condition... But, still factory sealed. Yep. Factory sealed. And this is the Black Series Biker Scout. Now, they have released just the figure, but they haven't re-released the Biker Scout. And I keep waiting for them to release... Uh, well, they have released it in a, in a, in a three-pack of Shadow Troopers. But they, I'm waiting for them to release Leia and Luke from Endor on the Biker Scout bike. So, yeah, this, this packaging has seen some better days, but... Hey, it's still factory sealed, and it's still in the box, so it still looks good. And last thing in the box. This is, and this is this is why Star Wars fans are the worst in keeping stuff. This is the, the Smuggler's Bounty Box for Darth Maul. And not, I think Darth Maul may be in here. So here we have uh, the Executioner Troopers. Yeah. Um, you love that Enterprise. Yes, it is very cool, Dave. Very, very cool. Um, so this is the first uh, Order Stormtrooper Executioner. I believe he was a Target exclusive. I probably have four or five of these because they started to drop in price, and I think they got below $9.99, and then I would just grab them whenever I could. So i got to put him out. Yeah, he's definitely an exclusive because he doesn't have a number. Put him up there for now. Please don't fall. And then, oh, this is good. Good timing. So here are the Star Wars books, I Am a Sith, and then I Am a Jedi. I got these for my son uh, basically a year before I even knew we were going to have a baby. So these can go upstairs now. Got these at Target. And, okay, so this is the Amazon exclusive. I can't believe how many pops are in here. Uh, Amazon exclusive First Order Stormtrooper. And then this was actually the one that came in the box in this Smuggler's Bounty set, this thing here, it was actually a Count Dooku pop. So it was all the Sith stuff, and then like a coffee, it was like it was a coffee, uh, like a coffee tumbler, and a few other things. But then you got this awesome, uh, unique Count Dooku pose. It's like he's standing, he's got the saber out. It's really neat. Um, it's a, it's, it's a nice item. And then still in the box, forgot it was there. It was a pin. So I don't remember what the patch was. Usually there's a patch for this. I'd have to actually Google it, go back, find it, uh, and then, you know, figure out what else was in there. So, yeah. So that'll probably keep those pops in that box. Now, this is the sickness. Do I get rid of Dooku and the First Order Trooper? Because I really don't like 
Pops, but they're Star Wars. So then I'm like, what do I do? Um, very difficult. So that's it. I really talk fast. I really think that sometimes these would last longer than they do, but I don't know. They really don't. So what were my big surprises? What were things that I was thrilled and happy to find? Well, always the Pops. Uh, that means something that I got as a gift as a family uh, from the family. Those are nice. These, the Bib Fortuna that I got from Jarrett so long ago. That that will never leave me. That's that's a great pop, and it'll probably sit on my. I'll probably take it to work at Total Toy Recon and put it back on my desk. Um, don't have shelves there either. Um, but this Planet of the Apes uh, box set, uh, no box set, uh, two pack. Really, I I honestly forgot I had this. I had no. I was gone, out of sight, out of mind, and that's part of this problem. You forget what you have. Um, but also finding, um, finding the, the Diamond Select busts are, again, are great. Um, and I'm really thrilled that I have those back and then I know where they are and I can start. I'm really getting a good hold on everything that's down here and how I can organize it and move it and then get rid of stuff. And that's the whole point. So, again, I am Bob from Total Total Recon. I'll repost this on YouTube. I'll repost it on um, our Instagram account, uh, at least a link to it. And I thank you for tuning in. I will be back again tomorrow. Now, tomorrow's episode, episode 19, uh, deals with what's going on in the world. And there's a box that I've got to get to. It's under here. Um, silly me, I buried it. Uh, but it's going to be a fun box, sort of, uh, making light of kind of what's going on right now. And it will uh, hint be about things that you can wear on your face uh to go out to do the simplest things now like walking the dog and uh getting uh going to the grocery store so thank you for tuning in and i will see you again tomorrow